Speculating about alien life in the universe is something that everyone seems to do. I remember when I was a child, eight, nine years old, I was scared at night that aliens would come and get me. But as I've reflected, the presence or absence of alien life in the universe really is a profound, fundamental question and has deep implications. How, how, do, you, how do you see that search in the, in the meaning? Well, I share your view. It's one of the most fundamental and fascinating questions for all of us. As to the likelihood, I think we have to say we're too ignorant to say whether it's likely or unlikely. I think there are some things we can say. First, astronomers can now say with confidence that there are many planets orbiting many other stars. There are probably zillions of other planets rather like the Earth orbiting stars. But whether they will have evolved a biosphere, we don't know. There are two steps in that process. First is the origin of life, and we don't understand how that happened here on Earth. I think there's a reasonable hope we'll come to understand the origin of life on Earth better. And, of course, that will then give us a clue as to whether life was an amazingly rare fluke or whether it would be started started in any other environment like the young Earth. But even if you've got simple life, then the question is how likely is it that it evolves into the stage when some creatures achieve a level of intelligence? That's the second question. Yes. <clears throat> it's quite possible that simple life is common, but intelligent life is rare. Nonetheless, I'm very much in favour of all efforts to search for alien intelligence and Efforts are being made to search for all kinds of signals. We've no idea what the aliens are like, so we just have to use all the techniques we can. But the kind of thing people are doing is uh, pointing telescopes towards nearby stars and seeing if there's any evidence for some sort of signal that couldn't be natural. For instance, um, a string of prime numbers or something like that, or little beeps spelling out the digits of pi in binary notation, something like that. One shouldn't hold one's breath for success um, because nothing's been seen so far. And even if we did succeed, what would it tell us? It would tell us something fundamentally important. It would tell us that concepts of logic and physics weren't unique to the uh, hardware in human skulls but evolved elsewhere. It wouldn't tell us very much about what the aliens were. Um, they may have evolved quite differently. In fact, the signals could be coming from some kind of artifacts made by some intelligent life that had died out long before, <laughs> for all we know. And also, they wouldn't be conscious even if intelligent necessarily. That's a separate philosophical question. And, of course, whether we could achieve any useful contact with them is a separate question. The one thing we know for sure is there's no scope for snappy repartee because the time to send a signal right. near, uh, to a nearer star is going to be decades. Um, but it would be important if we were to discover any evidence of alien intelligence. Were we to do so, it would make us feel less alone in the cosmos. But although that's the upside, it would have a downside in that it would uh, um, make us more uh, cosmically modest. In yeah. a way. Yes. Whereas on the other hand, if these searches for intelligent aliens fail, it's disappointing but we can raise our cosmic self-esteem because <laughs> small though the Earth is, we could then properly conjecture that our Earth may be a very special place even in the entire galaxy. It could be the only place where life has evolved to the stage of intelligence. And then, bearing in mind that the future lying ahead is billions of years, we could imagine that our Earth, tiny though it is, could be the seed from which the entire galaxy is greened, as it were. And so, if alien life is uh, not present at the moment. That doesn't mean that life is forever a trivial artifact in the cosmos. It could mean that life is destined to spread, but here from Earth. Which would make our stewardship here even more significant. Indeed, it gives yet another motive for being concerned about the long-term future of our planet. I have found it astonishing that first-rate scientists will take mm. all three positions, some at all three. First, mm. Some saying that intelligent life is enormously common throughout the universe. There mm -hmm. has to be billions and billions of uh, intelligent life forms, and anybody else who thinks otherwise mm -hmm. is being either uh, uh, Copernic 
Kantian self-centered or religious or something, and it's ridiculous. Then others say that, that uh, 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 life may be common, but intelligent life, it's impossible to think it happened more than once. Very smart uh, uh, biologists mm -hmm. have said that. And then the final category, that even life is extremely rare and maybe only on mm -hmm. Earth. Mm -hmm. So the entire spectrum, there are people who firm, firmly believe mm. opposing views. Mm. Well, that's right, and I think the uh, conclusion to draw is that the only sensible stance is complete agnosticism, <laughs> which is my stance, but, but I think it's important to distinguish those three questions. Uh, the question of uh, uh, simple life, the question of intelligent life, and the question of whether that life is going to communicate, because that third point is that even if there is some intelligent life, uh, it may be unrecognizable to us, because the only kind of life that's going to be sending out signals is life which is sufficiently like us, to have a technology we can recognize and is interested in communicating. Uh, there could be all kinds of contemplative dolphins out there under some uh, planetary ocean uh, who have no interest in communicating and we won't find. So any life that we detect, even if we detect it, could be a small and atypical fraction of what's out there. Uh, so absence of evidence isn't evidence of absence. And so we can never prove it's not there. All we can prove is that uh, there's very little of it of a kind that we can recognize. As of now? As of now, yes. There's a question that comes up that I think you may be in a marvelous position to answer, both as a cosmologist and as someone very concerned about existential risk to the planet. Mm -hmm. Some have said <clears throat> that we may not be so wise in communicating for, to, for aliens, although we can listen. Because maybe it's not so wise to broadcast our presence, not knowing the, uh, the behavioral characteristics of species greater than ourselves. So maybe human beings should be allowed a few more millennia uh, to strengthen themselves before announcing their presence in the uh, global community. Well, I think uh, if they are more advanced than us, they would know we're there anyway, <laughs> because uh, they might have been looking at the Earth for billions of years, realizing it was a planet that was going to evolve life, or failing that, they would be detecting the uh, signals that we are emitting anyway through our radio transmission and the anomalies mm. in carbon dioxide and all those things. So I think uh, even without us making efforts, then mm. they would know we're here. And uh, they will respond, we don't know how. 